Hey everyone, it's Michelle at Divine's Purpose. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, what's poppin' and happy new moon in Libra. All right, so I want to jump on for Divine Masculines as there are a couple Divine Masculines going into some fear. Um, and there are some Masculines, I said a couple. I don't know, more than a couple. Let's just say there's some Masculines going into fear and some are getting ready for um, their soul journey, their destiny. I wanted to jump in and give you guys this quick energy update for you. Um, if you're new to the channel, like I said, welcome, but please understand I work directly with Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines on a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so we don't bash anybody here. This is all love. If you are part of a twin flame journey and you're looking for a codependent rating, please go somewhere else, but thank you for stopping by. But if you want to learn and see what is going on in the masculine energy, please stay tuned. Um, masculines. <clears throat> first and foremost, the first message I'm hearing is keep going. You're doing amazing. <clears throat> wow, my throat chakra today. Keep going. <clears throat> You're doing amazing. Let's tap into Archangel Metatron and get some assistance here. <clears throat> you are good enough, full moon and Virgo. See what I mean? Keep going. You're doing amazing because you are good enough. The reason why I feel led to say that is because there's a lot of doubt in your energy. And <clears throat> energy comes and goes, just like emotions. And I believe, if I am correct, a lot of y'all are diving deep into your emotions, Hansi, and this is scaring you, and it's all good. Listen, emotions are scary. Trust me. You're talking to a divine feminine shit. I feel all types of emotions. Not only that, I'm an artist, honey. We are emotional, all right? And emotions are scary because it's hard to feel when you've been numb to feeling. <laughs> but you're good enough to feel these emotions because the only way to get into this divinity into getting a divine masculine essence and being a divine masculine and embodying it and conquering it is through the emotions so look at that the energy healer it keeps coming out for y'all i feel like a lot of you are getting this aha moment like oh my god i'm a healer oh shit i'm a healer forgiveness yes it is christ consciousness okay you have to understand something Christ consciousness is an energy. It's not a person. So the more and more we tap into your ascension, the more and more you're going to get into this energy. You have to learn how to forgive. But you have to learn to forgive yourself first, guys. Girls, please take it as it resonates. Y'all know I talk like I'm channeling for masculines as men, but please take it as it resonates. Um, number 33. Oh, that's that number again. The master number, number 33. I'm using the color oracles for this because I feel like there's a little bit of a healing message in here and understand that the lilac angel is bringing you forgiveness. Lilac. Um, if you are led, you guys, to do a bath, please put lilac in your bath. It will help you calm your energy. A lot of divine masculines are becoming aware of how to open up their feminine energy without feeling like they are questioning their sexuality. <laughs> and I don't really care because it's cute because in the end of the day, in your past lives, if you knew what your past lives were and what you did in your past lives, you wouldn't even question that. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right. So number 38, which is 11, energy healer, copper dragon. There's something also about the copper energy that's coming up too. So you have to understand that copper, if you have anything that has copper on it or in it, please put it on you and around you, maybe even when you're sleeping for that extra energy that you need right now, my loves. Um, you have to understand there are things all around us, like the magician, all the tools on the table, like these. These are tools. These are tools. I don't need them, but I like them. I like them. That's the whole point of using tools is because it's fun. It's enjoyable, and it brings me extra clarification in the energy. Some of you also might be tapping into starting to do tarot <coughs> or card readings. You have to understand everything is energy. 
everything has a frequency and everything has a vibration and that's why colors are so important too because we use colors as vibration healing so divine masculines you are good enough for this energy you're good enough to be a healer you're good enough to have forgiveness you're good enough love and romance number five pink angel this keeps coming up for y'all some of you are <clears throat> running away from love I'm just thinking of The Runaway Bride with Julia Roberts. And I don't even think I've seen that movie, but I'm just picturing her on a horse getting the fuck out of Abu Dhabi. <laughs> I don't even know if that's in the movie, but that's what I'm getting. Um, and that's the motion of when I jumped in and said, Divine Masculines, you are, some of you are going into fear. And the thing is, it's not a fear of, the person it's fear of you thinking you're good enough to be loved oh, okay that's why forgiveness came up black dragon light in the darkness number 40 I can't make this shit up shit y'all know how it is divine masculines there are numbers and synchronicities here that have to do with the twin flame journey 100% um, but this has to do with divine love and counterparts and this has to do with also understanding that you are scared to shine a light on your darkness because you don't think you're good enough. You don't think you are good enough, but you are. What do you think makes you not good enough because of things you've done in the past? So everybody had to learn lessons. because you don't think you can reach the aspects of being a divine masculine, well, that's not up to you anyhow. That's God's plan, not yours. Surrender. Anybody who understands the ascension journey understands that we did not choose this in this life. It's been a soul contract that has been made through the motion of lifetimes and lifetimes and lifetimes. The thing is, like I said before, if you actually did a past life regression session with me, then you would understand that this is just one life that is getting you prepared to tap into all of the previous gifts you have endured and have used as a healer, as a teacher, as a prophet. Some of y'all have been working directly with really well-known prophets and really well-known philosophers and really well-known teachers through the motion of history. There's a reason why sometimes you get really attracted to certain people like Alexander the Great, like Jesus, like Krishna, like big old jolly Buddha. It's because some of y'all have been living a life from those moments in time. Some of y'all are too scared to shine a light onto this because you're more comfortable being in denial, more comfortable being in your regular everyday life that truly bores you. Listen, I'm not trying to give no hard time to nobody. You know how I do, y'all. I talk truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God, amen. The thing is, I am triggering aspects of your body to put seeds of knowledge and seeds of truth into something that your body has been yearning for. Ting, confirmation. Because I'll tell you this, you wouldn't be watching my video right now if you weren't meant to watch it. You wouldn't be watching my video if you didn't know that you deserve to be here. You wouldn't be watching my video if you didn't think you were good enough. And the thing is, the way I roll with Divine Masculines is completely different than the way I roll with Divine Feminines. Because Divine Feminines have already occurred in a motion of, okay, I've done this. I faced this. And I'm ready in my power. Divine Masculines, you're stepping into your power. Until you step into your power, you will not feel the tone in my voice like I do talk to the Divine Feminines. Because there's a shadowy aspect here that I'm speaking to. You know what? Let me get into that. Let me get into that for y'all. Let's see what we are dealing with. And then I'm going to wrap it up. I got a couple client calls, and then it's Friday. I'm going to go live my best life. Because I'm good enough. 
I'm good enough for all the prosperity and abundance that God has for me. Best believe if I'm saying that about myself, I'm also saying that about you. What you say about yourself is what you project out to the world. Never forget who you are. The temple of my body, number two. Very interesting. Very interesting. And I'll tell you why. Because I just did a divine feminine reading at the club. So divine feminines, if you're on here and you're part of the club, get on there. There's a cool message there. But this is the energy of self-worth and insecurity. And if you look at this, that can be even more of a yuckier feeling internally that you are not good enough. It's like you're kind of sick and uh, uncomfortable. Does this journey make you sick and uncomfortable? Or looking in the mirror of who you are makes you sick and uncomfortable? Either way, you're good enough and you have to understand one thing and one thing only. The only way out of this energy is through the motion of forgiveness, and that's why this is here. I'm trying to go like this. I just cracked my elbow. Anyways, forgiveness is the only way out of this, guys, because you are an energy healer. You're here to do a lot of beautiful things, and I know you feel it. I know you feel it in the pit of your stomach. I know there's a love and romance that you've been seeking all your life, kind of like a fairy tale and I'm going to tell you if you are part of this journey then this fairy tale is very much true it is that good it's actually even better once you experience it when you're actually in union and understand that the light and the dark is necessary you have to be in this energy to learn and to experience and the biggest aspect I tell this to every single person I work with all of your shadows and all of your darkness, all the things you're ashamed of, all of the things that you've been running away from, all of the things that you wish you could do again, are aspects of things you had to learn so you can teach as a healer and a teacher how to go about dealing with this to the next round of people who are seeking help. You have to understand, when you step into mission, you're a healer, you're a teacher. So this is gonna be your full-time job. Whatever you're doing right now, um, you know, I can't really say it because y'all have to, you know, figure that out for yourself. But when you step into mission and understand that you're going to be making money and actually having a life through becoming a healer like a doctor would, right? Like, think of yourself as a holistic doctor in a sense, but way deeper, way more better. No offense to holistic doctors. I'm just saying there's so much more things that this energy can give you. There's so much more because you're dealing with past life ancestry and then you're also dealing with future generations of healing because you have to understand once you have children, your children, the souls are already like, please heal this shit because then if you don't, I fucking have to like, like we have to do for our family. So it's like, get it popping and get it, get it popping because the jack, the, when you do this, you're actually healing the next generation. This is how we heal. But this is also how you ascend. So whatever this is, whatever this shadow is, whatever this insecurity is, you have to go through it so you can actually speak your truth upon it because there are so many other souls that are going to need your wisdom, your voice, and your energy to heal them. So this message here, you know, take it as it resonates, but... This is really strong because it's saying you are good enough to be this person. You are good enough to be this holistic healer, this doctor, this this professor, this whatever, philosopher, this writer, this teacher. You are good enough. How many energies that I come into the masculine energy, they come in, they come out, they come in, they come out, they come in, they come out. Jesus, y'all make us nauseous. You must be feeling nauseous. You must be feeling like this, guys. Stop this. You are good enough. And you have to understand that you are so divinely protected. And you all are also very supportive. Like, you have us. We're a soul tribe. You're telling me to look at the back of the card. I don't want to look at the back of the card. Yes, I do. 
Sorry, that was the dialogue y'all have in your head. I don't want to. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> Shit. It's so bipolar. It's ridiculous, yo. That was not me. This is what happens. I go in and out. Your guys are about to have a rebirth, and some of you are scared to death. And this is the reasoning why. And we all can relate to this. We all understand this as masculine energy with all, all of us, feminine and masculine, I mean, female and male. It's because it's the lack of control. It's the last, the last straw of your ego going, run. And if you can't run, grab a horse like Julia Roberts in that vision and take the fuck off. That's your ego. Don't be playing yourself at this time because this is the most important part of the journey for you. Your rebirth has come. Your rebirth has come. Ole wata. Let's go swimming. Y'all are changing. Some of y'all have changed. The only thing that I'm hearing, and this is sticking out, master forgiveness. It is going to be your biggest tool in this life. Put down everything else and master forgiveness. You guys know I offer a six-week shadow program. If you do desire to get this rebirth energy on and pop in without the fear of your ego, I'm telling you, it is life-changing. If you just want to talk, I have a donation-based 30-minute call, man. You, you send me what you feel, we'll get it pop in. I'm here to help you. And Divine Masculines, I'm pushing really strongly for you guys because we really need you. Um, we really do need you. Divine Feminines can't do this on their own. And you have to understand that you're good enough to be standing next to us in this battle. So I love you. Happy New Moon. Many blessings to you in your journey. Peace.